Hello guys, I'm Nazmul Hassan. Hope you guys are very well. The topic of today's talk is about on wafer testing. Now you might be wondering what is on wafer testing. Well, we IC designers, when we finish designing an IC, we generate the GDS file from the layout of the IC. And this GDS file is the industry standard file format that acts like a photo mask during the IC fabrication process and all semiconductor foundries needed in order to fabricate the IC. So at the last stage of the design cycle, we, the IC designers generate the GDS file and hand it over to the semiconductor foundry so that they can fabricate the IC. And after the fabrication, when we receive the IC, the first measurement that we do is known as on wafer testing. Now basically, in on wafer testing, we mount the IC on a previous station. We will see what is previous station. I'm going to practically demonstrate it, so please wait for the moment. So as I was saying, we mount the IC on a previous station and by the help of DC and RF probes and vector network analyzer, we measure the IC and check its functionality. Well, the purpose of uh, doing this uh, on wafer testing is to check the functionality of the IC. Because uh, ultimately we have to mount the IC on a PCB board and take the PCB measurements, but if, without verification of the functionality of the IC, if we mount the IC on a PCB board and uh, the arrangement will be wasted later when we will find the IC is dysfunctional. That is why it's very important to check the functionality of the IC before proceeding to the PCB arrangement. And in PCB assembly, we basically mount the IC on a PCB board and solder it to the PCB board by the help of wear bonds. And we also cover it by uh, with an EMI box. Actually, this box uh, protects it from any uh, external electromagnetic interference. Well, uh, those are uh, PCB stuff, so this video is actually um, about on wafer testing, so we will restrict ourselves to the topic. So, uh, uh, to perform this on wafer testing, we need a set of equipment, and I'm going to show those equipment. So, let's go to our lab in order to check this equipment. All right, let me present some real time fabricated ICs. These are gallium nitride based ICs and these are CMOS based. They are so tiny, the transistors and the circuit components inside are not visible in naked eyes. So, probe station and microscope are to be used in order to do any sort of experiment on them. Okay? Alright, so this is a probe station for IC measurement that I was referring to and these are called propositioners. And these, these blue color stubs, this is our GSG probe, which is connected to the port 1 of VNA, Vector Network Analyzer. And the second GSG probe, also used for RF signal, which is connected to the port 2 of the VNA. Now, this is a PGP probe, which is used for providing the DC bias to the transistors. And for a transistor, we require a gate bias and a drain bias. That's why there are two cables, one connection for the drain bias, another for gate bias. And these propositioners, they can be moved by using these notches. You can see. So they are used for placement of the probe in proper position, I mean, in the pad of the ICs. You can move leftward and rightward by this knob, and this one provides you the upward and downward movement. All right? As you can see, there are two slot holes for fastening the screws with the PGP or GSG probes. Uh, this plate is used for placement of the ICs for measurement, and these notches are used for moving this plate. It provides you proper placement according to the proposition. All right. So this is a Cascade Microtech Summit 9000 probe station, and it has a built-in microscope. 
and we need this microscope to see the internal circuit components because they are so tiny and in naked eye it's impossible to see them. So let me present some real-time footage for IC measurement. This yellowish tiny block is the CMOS-based IC that we have placed on the plate for measurement purpose. And then we have two GHG probes and one PGP probe for providing the DC bias. And then we use the microscope to look into this uh, internal circuitry of this IC. So this picture can provide us an idea of what it looks like under the microscope. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any question regarding on-wafer testing, you can paste them below. Thanks.